sexual stuff mm-hmm. in a closet. Anyways, Tim Pool claimed that uh, somebody fired a bullet onto his property. It was a nine millimeter bullet. Um, my, uh, I'm fairly fucking certain that um, he dropped a gun and it hit into the wall. Otherwise, how the fuck did he know it was a nine millimeter? Anyways, did he find the bullet? Because you could tell that by looking at a fucking spent slug. What about the casing? But the casing doesn't get in, fall into a wall. The casing stays in. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is a clip all about um, him getting swatted and all this stuff and how the left is trying to kill him. This thing is so batshit crazy. I, I wish had to we were select, that cool, guys. I wish. I only I, I only selected one small snippet of it. Um, where he's threatening his own fans. Kind of annoying. Then, at the same time, what happened this morning? I got word that someone pulled up to one of our properties and started booping about, whatever, you know. And- what the fuck is booping about? I'm booping. Does yeah. That a- okay, but he, he wasn't I love armed. the idea he, that someone is tried- armed booping? Yeah, I love the idea that someone's trying to sneak on your property to kill you, but they're deliberately moving in a weird way to catch your attention. First. Yeah, they like they're but they're they're walking down the sidewalk like Travolta and Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> like, is that what he's talking about? Like, yeah, do they have a pen block or something? What's going on there? By one of our armed staff members, because we have armed guards everywhere. Let me just warn you that you can't be on this property and to leave. Now, this individual. Claimed to be a fan who just wanted to, to support. Claimed to be a fan! Dude, uh, he is so fucking weird. He is such a weirdo in how he talks, dude. I Just set... He has armed guards at his house. I mean... This kid's never taken a punch in his life. I don't... I mean... I don't want to have armed guards in my house. I j- would but you just, would have armed guards in your house? I want to have enough I money wouldn't. that that's an option. I want to have enough money where um, uh, I just don't do shit. Like I just that. don't do a fucking TV show <laughs> where I lie about gay people in order to inspire mass shooters to kill them, which he's also admitted to doing. Lies. As this one user, what is it, it's a equal loafer? I, I love that. I love his, this he's so dramatic when he talks. to be a fan who just wanted to, to support. Fan. Lies. <laughs> As this one user, what is it, it's a equal loafer? I don't know. Says it was a test of the outer perimeter and an intel collector had in a swivel. Perhaps, I mean, at least perhaps Rush Limbaugh was a good broadcaster. Doesn't matter either way. There are no good broadcasters on YouTube. Okay? Except for me and Sam Cedar. No. <laughs> no just Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar is the only broadcaster on YouTube worth uh, watching. Uh, and I say that knowing that he's an asshole because he refused. To fucking talk to me when he was in Vegas. And also, they fucking... But, dude, they're four months behind on us. Fuck, we had a reaction to a clip that Matt Taibbi was on with Ben Shapiro. These motherfuckers are reacting to it now. That thing came out four months ago, and this show hit it first. Also, um, I gave them a clip. You said that you don't believe that people watch this show? I gave them a clip. (laughs) <laughs> it was fucking I, it was um, it was uh, Christopher Hitchens Dennis Prager Whoopi Goldberg and Gene Simmons on Politically Incorrect talking about Vietnam where Bill Maher was defending the war in Vietnam of course Bill Maher would yeah but I mean that's and I fucking ha- I literally gave that to them on Twitter anyways but fine, don't fucking bother. Yeah, well, I mean, Bill Maher supports the Vietnam War because it led to a lot of, uh, uh, like, immigrants who he... Okay, has... I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Okay. <laughs> we treat out. all of it the exact same way. If you, show, if you show up to the property and you cross the barrier, you are that's felony burglary. And No, it's not. That's called criminal trespassing. Look it up, you fucking dumb motherfucker. No, or don't. And, um, or the other option. Also, the other option is shoot one of your own fans. (laughs) That's an option. But if his fan had a gun, that would already be brandishing a firearm. So I feel like that's a lot. He never said the fan had a gun. 
But then where did the bullet come from? The bullet came from his fucking house. This is a separate incident. (laughs) He's a fucking idiot. The bullet came from one of his guys. Either him or one of his guys because he's playing with guns all the time on his property because he thinks he's (laughs) David Koresh. (laughs) He actually thinks he's Scarface, but he's David Koresh without the the musical ability. Or the pussy. Or the fucking pussy. (laughs) Yeah, speaking of which, he's so fucking alpha, Tim Pool. He's just like me. (laughs) This is, no, Will, this is what I'm sick of. I am so sick of these fucking beta males. I am surrounded by these beta males who are so weak on their insides that they can't resist the temptation of having sex with my wife. (laughs) I'm just like Tim Pool. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm just like Tim Pool because I'm lying about having a girlfriend. But, anyways, fuck yeah. Hey, real quick, by you the way, you look better in a beanie though. I do. Well, no, he gets his fucking from gas stations, and they sit on his head too tight, like that. Also, if I had his baldness, he's got the baldness that goes straight across. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would get a fucking brown suit. Learn how to tie a tie like a, an adult. It's pretty easy. And fucking dude, and just be bald like that. Or have a comb over and fuck, dude, my whole game, my comedy game would be just f- on fire, dude. Can you imagine me coming out in a fucking suit? Should I start wearing like the suit doing Why, comedy? Are you bald like that? No, I, I have a little bit of a widow's peak, but it's nothing bad. No, are you bald like the, the strip? He's got the strip. Really? That's the best kind of bald, the Henry Miller bald. It's like right across the strip. It's fucking dope. I don't understand what... But he doesn't... He's a nerd. He doesn't get that. Like, he doesn't get aesthetics. Dude, that is the best ball... I started to go bald. I started to get the... Um, the Bruce Willis, but it, but it just... It never happened. It just stopped. But fucking... Um, the fucking... That bald is the best bald. Mm-hmm. Because you can grow a comb over... If you wanted to, and you could put on like a shitty fucking looking suit, and you could be like, you could just look like some fucking, you could look like, you could do Rodney. Yeah, I feel like if I put on a suit, I look like the skeeziest agent of all time. Yeah, I can, I, I've wore a suit. But anyways, um, I, just, this, I brought this up because um, you no longer, do, don't try to justify calling Republicans fascists. This guy hits... That fucking militarism, this idea of being surrounded by guards and, sh- and, and threatening to shoot your own fans and fucking lying about fucking bullets and how fucking dangerous it is and how fucking how edgy and tough you are because you're not scared of anybody. I'm not scared of the people I made up inside of my own head. <laughs> I, love, I, I love how he went from like, hey, I just want to kick back, smoke weed, like play video games, skateboard, watch South Park, and now he's like... I'm going to kill my fans. I'm starting a militia. Dude, here's the thing. That is hits like three or four different points, which tend to repeat themselves on that Umberto Echo fucking list. This is my thing about this Umberto Echo. I would just rather, it's a, listen, the guy was a detective novelist. He wrote a prose poem about fascism in 1995. It's a cool parlor trick you can play on your drunken MAGA uncle over the holidays. He could say, I'm not a fascist. And then we go, well, let's go through the 14 points. Don't bring it up in a debate. Okay, if somebody's sitting there saying denying the existence of fascism, you've already gotten into a semantic game that's a waste of fucking time. We're well past the point of diagnosing Republicans. Di- calling, diagnosing a Republican with fascism is like diagnosing a case of HIV with somebody who has full blown AIDS. No, I, but, it but doesn't, here's a, it doesn't make sense. Here's what you do in a debate. Should, everyone short of communists are inherently fascist right they're, now. They're trying to waste your time. By denying being a fascist, if you're, a, if they say what makes a Republican a fascist, you say they're a Republican. If they want to play that game, just play the game right along to them, and then it'll make them go crazy. It's fucking circular logic. They'll say it's circular logic, but Republicans actually have an ideology, a platform that they all are in lockstep with. It's perfectly legitimate to say to use Republicans synonymously with fascists. And you don't have to explain a fucking thing. So stop it with the Umberto Echo thing. It's so embarrassing when people do it. It's the, they're trying when they when they deny when they challenge you to define a fascist. They're trying to cater to your intellectual vanity. Don't take the bait. Well, like my dad denies being a fascist, but I'm like, 
you fought to defend apartheid in 1971. Like, I don't know how much more fascist you could possibly get. Yeah, I mean, you, listen, you want to pull that out. You want to pull that Umberto Echo thing out and go, hey, Dad, let's see it. Let's see what you look like. Let's see if any of these things... Let's see if the, any of these things match. And then at the end of it, he's going to go, well, who the fuck is that guy? What does he know? It's, does, it's a waste of time. You're a fascist because you're a Republican. There's no other reason to be a Republican. It doesn't make any sense. Of course not. I mean, we, the Democrats don't already give you enough tax breaks. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if you're to the le- if you're to the right of Joe Biden, you're a fascist, right? Well, I mean, the only difference between like like Republican fascists and neoliberal fascists is neoliberal fascists think there should be diversity among the uh, corporate overlords that rule your life. Yeah, well, I think that anybody who fights to defend. Uh, anyone who puts up a fight to defend your right to vote them out of office can't be a fascist by definition, no matter how bad they are on any other fucking front. So, Kristen Cinema is a fascist. I'm not debating that. Yeah, okay. I don't think Joe Biden is. 